First, though, at five, a crime that started with pictures, police say, evolving then to videos and now to alleged assaults. CBS 11 is the only place you'll see this video of Lake Worth investigators putting that man back in jail. They say he spent years taking inappropriate pictures of unsuspecting women all over North Texas. Jason Allen is live in Fort Worth. And, Jason, police in several cities are working on cases tonight involving this man. Yeah, and he was uh, here today, Gilma, actually to see a judge about the very first of those cases, and that is how police tracked him down again. They had been eager to get him off the streets after what they said they found on his phones and computer. Lake Worth police walked a handcuffed Alexander Martinez back behind bars Wednesday morning. The 32-year-old said little, according to investigators, as if he was expecting the arrest. He wasn't surprised. He wasn't, it's like he knew why we were, he didn't even ask, what am I being arrested for or anything, so. After arresting Martinez in March, when a woman said he stuck his phone under a Target dressing room wall, police said they found years of similar pictures on his phone and computer. There were also videos. New arrest warrant affidavits say some videos showed Martinez having sexual contact with women who appeared to be in a, quote, physically unconscious state. They were scared, I mean, they were nervous. I mean, I can't blame them, but they came in here and did what they needed to do and we were able to make uh, four cases out of that. Detectives are still piecing together clues for locations of other pictures, including Hearst's Northeast Mall and the Galleria in Dallas. Then they have to find victims, and they're getting calls from women who remember seeing Martinez near them almost every day. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. I mean, to get him off the street, I mean, that's the, the main goal. Martinez is facing three sexual assault charges now and one invasive video uh, recording charge. Lake Worth told me that they have one more case that they are working on right now and it's pending and that there are cases as well in three other cities. Live tonight in Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.